in our hotel room at the guest house at Graceland. Graceland for sponsoring this trip for us and allowing us to come and visit and check out all you have to offer. It's been quite the experience. Um, I have lots of feelings at the moment so I'm going to try to get them all out in the best way that I can. If you're a big Elvis fan, come to Graceland. It'll be worth the money for you. To hear about all of his life's greatest achievements and see all of his awards and all kinds of Things from his life, his furniture, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll sit through a little film that talks about all the cool things he did. He joined the army, you know, he became a superstar at such a young age. But they neglect to mention the fact that his life was anything but perfect. Uh, anything but perfect? Yeah, that part. No, what do I mean to say? He did not have a perfect life. <laughs> Elvis did not have a perfect life. He started abusing drugs quite young and did some questionable things, but I think above all else, there is no way that he was mentally as healthy as he should have been. That's why he lost his life to drug addiction. But when you come here, you're not gonna hear about that, which I get that that's not a happy, wonderful story. But I think that we look at these people in the media, even stars now, and we forget that they are going through things. And there are demons in your mind, as doesn't matter if you have one dollar in your bank account or a million dollars in your bank account. You are going to struggle with something. So just keep that in mind when you come to places like Graceland and you hear about these glamorous lifestyles these people have lived. And you look at your own life and think, oh my gosh, I am not doing well. But in reality, uh, many of them weren't doing well either. So just a little mental health PSA that I wanted to give because I'm all about those mental health PSAs, you know. What are your thoughts? Well, um, there's a lot of money being made in gift shops. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> there's a gift shop around every corner here. Yes, except for at the mansion, there was not a gift shop. No. I had to wait to get back across the street. <laughs> but then you could find a gift shop. So, but I mean, if you are an Elvis fan, oh, no, we love Elvis music. But I think I've learned there might be a distinction between I like Elvis's music and I'm an Elvis fan. Yeah. Because I have seen some Elvis fans. Oh my gosh. They have jackets that look like Elvis's jumpsuit. They have purses with his face on it. I don't have that. The yeah, lady on the bus... She's t celebrating her 47th birthday, and this was a surprise gift for her birthday. So I would say that she must be a fan. Must be a fan. Yeah. So by all means, if you are that, if you love Elvis that much, then come on over. You can even see how much he paid for his furniture. Because they had the bills. You can learn a lot of things that I don't know if you necessarily want to know. But you we learned that one thing. We learned that he had a twin brother that died at birth. I did not have yeah. any idea. Which is kind of a morbid thing to learn. But, I mean, to me that was more interesting than how much he paid for his couch. Yeah. But, I just kind of got sad at the end of the whole tour thing. All these people excited about everything and not realizing that he was not happy at the end of his life. He really tried to buy friendship. And that's because he he valued his friends, um, and he 
he wanted to show them and I, I'm sure not all of them were very true so that's sad that someone would just give so much he cuz yeah. to his friends and to his fans he gave everything that he yeah. had and he was tossing out scarves with his sweat on it you know all that <laughs> But did anybody stop to be like, hey, um, how many of those sleeping pills have you had? How many of those pills have you had to stay awake? Maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe you should take a day. Yeah. What was in that one thing? 18, 18 stages in 18 days. So the man you know he didn't have any sleep. Didn't sleep. Yeah. But when you're a screaming fan in the audience, you don't think about that. Until one day you see on the news that that person is no longer alive. So, that's a reality check. But again, thank you Graceland yes. for sponsoring this trip. It has been a fun time. And, I mean, we enjoyed talking to the little gentleman on the bench um, waiting for the shuttle. He now lives in Ocala, but he's from Wisconsin. And he actually saw Elvis six times live, like in real life. So, that was pretty cool to hear that. And an interesting thing I thought was he said he was not a fan until after the Army. And so, our conver my conversation to him was, well, then, because you served and he served, you had a connection. Um, and that's what it was, you know. So, that's pretty cool. Then that's when he beca actually became a fan when um, Elvis served in the Army. So... You never know why people become a fan. So, I mean, I would have probably become a fan because... He was a mighty fine He man. was very handsome. And his voice is... So smooth. It is wonderful. So, but again, thank you, Graceland, for sponsoring this trip. We've had a wonderful time. We have. Um, so, thank you. And I hope you guys enjoy the videos and pictures that we have taken. Bye!